Well, allegations continue to emerge that Bank of America, the nation's second largest bank, discriminates against organizations for political and religious reasons. In addition to denying services to various conservative groups, the financial services giant canceled the accounts of Christian ministry groups, saying that a group that trains pastors is, quote, operating a business type we have chosen not to service, end quote. Well, in response, a coalition of attorneys general from 15 states have contacted Bank of America requesting a report about its policies and its practices, as well as demanding that it update its terms of service to state that it does not discriminate against customers for their religious or political views. Well, joining me now to discuss this is Kansas Attorney General Chris Kobach, who is leading this effort among the state attorneys general. Uh, general Kobach, welcome back to Washington Watch. Good to see you. Great to be with you. So, General, walk us through what the Bank of America has been doing and, and why this prompted you and uh, 14 of your colleagues to take action. Well, Bank of America uh, has a history of either denying services when requested, banking services to organizations who uh, have politically disfavored activities like uh, gun companies or fossil fuel companies. Uh, and it also has a history of debanking customers that it already had. And there are some recent examples of this where Bank of America has taken away accounts, uh, that is to say closed accounts, uh, for Christian-based ministries. And this is in violation of not only federal law, but it, uh, it violates many of our state laws. Uh, and of course, it's ironically for Bank of America, highly un-American. And it appears that this bank is not for all of America and that conservatives uh, are not uh, welcome, whether it be you know conservative religious views uh, or conservative political views. I mean, this is certainly appears to be just another uh, initiative of the cancel culture, the left wanting to silence, drive out those entities they disagree with. Now, in most cases, when asked, uh, the bank doesn't give a response. I mean, we actually encountered that ourselves with a bank. They they don't give you an answer. They just give you this, uh, you know, stated uh, pablum that means nothing. Uh, how do you hold them accountable for this? Well, it's a pattern or practice, right? And you're exactly right. When the bank takes away the account or debanks somebody or an organization, they don't say, oh, we've taken away these services because you uh, you have Christian activity or you we don't like your political views. They just take it away. And uh, if anything, give a very uh, generic statement like, well, you, you don't meet our requirements for service and you know something like that. And but we do. So so when that happens in an individual instance, you might not know what's going on. But in the case of Bank of America, it's happened again and again and again. And there is a common thread here that the debanked individuals and entities are are either Christian or conservative. And so this pattern or practice has not only gotten the attorney attorneys general's attention, but also the attention of, of a House committee in Congress. And they've become somewhat notorious in this regard. You know, you have given the Bank of America 30 days to respond to your letter that the 15 attorneys general sent, do you expect to hear back from them? And if not, what action can you take? Well, I, I really don't know if they're going to respond or not. I hope that they do. And I hope they take this seriously uh, because, you know, it's hurting them to be, uh, to become, I, you know, known as a bank that does this to its customers to, uh, to discriminate against a, a whole class of customers all across the country. And it also would behoove them to respond because, if they don't, uh, then the next step would be uh, each of the states involved would look at Bank of America, look at the instances of debanking that occurred in their states, and uh, then look at the uh, state laws that apply. Each of us has a slightly different State Consumer Protection Act, but all of us have that. And uh, many of our Consumer Protection Acts do apply to this type of debanking activity. Uh, in addition, there are federal laws that uh, may or may not be enforced against uh, Bank of America. 
Uh, and other and individual states also have laws that are specifically targeted at taking away services from companies and individuals because of their political viewpoints. So there are a host of potential uh, legal liability traps or problems that the, the Bank of America could have if they don't do anything and ignore our letter. So, so General Kobach, what should individuals or organizations that may find themselves being debanked, what should they do? What steps should they take? I would say first step is to ask the bank for a, a an explanation. They probably won't get one, but they should ask. Uh, and then second step, uh, contact the attorney general of your state and let them know that this has happened to you uh, so that we can be aware of it. And that may you know, tip the balance or that may be the catalyst for that state attorney general taking action uh, against that bank. Attorney General Kobach, I want to thank you for uh, taking the lead on this. This is a very, very important issue. It's, again, it's just another uh, manifestation of the cancel culture, but we've got to address these at every level. Grateful for your leadership there in Kansas and across the country in leading this. Well, thank you for covering the story.